now. More of the Lars Larson Show right on the left coast. Hey, welcome back to the program. 13 minutes before the hour. And without further ado, from the great state of Missouri, Congressman Sam Graves. Congressman, good to have you on, sir. Thank you, Lars. I appreciate it. And you are the ranking member of the House Small Business Committee, although that also means these days that you are in the minority there. So you're, you're working against the tide, aren't you? Yes, sir. That's right. Well, listen, we understand that, we, and we're very appreciative of the kind of work you do. But let's talk about where this administration, where this Congress is going uh, uh, in, in terms of small business and taxes, because it doesn't sound like we're going anywhere good. No, and it's frustrating because it's almost like um, the administration and, and the Pelosi-led uh, House of Representatives, you know, they've kind of focused their sights on small business. And they either think that uh, um, that small business has all the money or that small business is evil, something. I don't know what it is, but, but they are coming after them to pay for so much of this spending that's taking place. Well, so what do we do to fix this? And can we persuade – I'm sorry, Congressman, but can, can we persuade some of these Marxists to, to back off on the tax nonsense for a while and maybe do something that will help ma- get American business going again? I don't know if we can persuade them or not, and, and I'll tell you why. I was in the White House talking to the president uh, here some time ago, and he was explaining at that time um, you know, the good things he was doing for small business. And he was talking about waiving the fees for you know, a small business administration loan or talking about getting a guarantee up to 90%. I, I, and I told him, I said, you know, that's fine for those small businesses that actually use the SBA. But I said, you're, you're giving in one hand, but you're turning around and taxing them with the other. You know, the majority of small businesses file um, as an individual or they file as a couple, and you're going to hit them right between the eyes with your tax increases. And he said, that's off the table. You know, he didn't want to talk about it. So can we persuade him? I don't think so. You know, I haven't had any luck, at least at this point. I don't know. It just it just it, it drives me nuts that these people don't seem to have the first. And look, Congressman, I'm not, I'm I guess in a sense I'm a small businessman because I've worked in radio a long time, and an awful lot of this is marketing yourself and and helping people to market products and goods on the air, uh, which is which is what we do. We you know we help people sell beds and spas and 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 everything else, but. But it's like these people don't have the first clue as to what damages business or how to do things that, that when a businessman is prosperous, he's generally out hiring more employees and generating more more jobs. And and this, you know, what we're seeing, and it doesn't matter if it's, you know, cap and trade or if it's uh, uh, this health care bill that's being proposed or, you, saw, you know, now uh, the speaker's talking about a VAT tax or a value added tax. I saw that. Now, now, will you explain to people how that adds a tax at every level? Every time that a product um, is a value is added to it or it is improved, it's going to get taxed uh, at another level. It's, it's just another gimmick to raise money, and that's the frustrating part. Washington doesn't have a revenue problem like so many of of uh, folks in this administration want to talk about. Washington has a spending problem. That's what it's about. It's about spending, and there's too much of it. Is there any way to get that cut back? Because, I mean, he's talking about launching us into a, uh, a health care plan that according to the Congressional Budget Office yesterday, the headline that everybody's seeing is no impact on the deficit. But all the rest of us are saying, yeah, no impact as long as you make a whole bunch of cuts to Medicare and Medicaid and all these other programs that aren't likely to happen, which means we are going to have a much yeah. bigger federal deficit. It is going to increase the deficit. I mean, that is that is smoking mirrors and it, it is gimmickry. It is going to increase the deficit. You know, this president has done nothing but increase the deficit since – uh, since he took office. And, you know, this is the same folks that criticized the last administration. And I'm not saying that, that, that uh, uh, you know, there wasn't spending going on, but at least at that point, the deficit was $480 billion. Now it's $1.4 trillion, and we're only seven months into this administration. Congressman, how, how tough would it really be to go through that federal budget with a meat axe and, and cut the things that are being, you know, some of these things that are being done if, if they really wanted to do this? Well, it, it wouldn't be tough at all if you actually talk about priorities. What priorities are important uh, in this nation? Well, the number one priority is national defense and national security, protecting our shores. And, you know, everything else falls into place after that. Um, so if you use real priorities, then, then it's not tough at all. But, you know, when you just, you know, write blank checks and just start spending money, um, there is no interest in cutting the, the deficit and cutting, you know, then the long-term effect of that is the debt. And this administration has no desire to do that. I guess I'd ask the average person out there who works for a small business. I work for a relatively small business. If you have 50 employees, the new health care bill pushed by Max Bacchus has a tax in it of $199,000 a year. 
if they do not provide health care coverage to their employees? I mean, I'm just imagining what that would do to the average small business. Well, what it's going to do is it's either going to run you out of business or um, you're going to be cutting back on employees, cutting back on production to try to make up for that. And, and this, you know, the, the, the environment that's out there right now um, and the environment that this administration is continuing to, uh, to proliferate is an environment that is, makes it that much harder for small businesses to even do business in this country. You know, I used to hear all the talk about, um, you know, running jobs out of this country and, and all of the conservative principles that were supposedly costing us jobs and, and sending jobs overseas. But, but when you start adding taxes and penalties and, and, mandates to small business, that does more to run jobs out of this country than anything else does. You know, Congressman, in my neck of the woods, one of the things they've done to improve health care at the state level, and I say improve in quote marks, they've added smoking cessation. So for all the people out there, and I have a lot of friends who smoke cigarettes, I don't, but uh, they're spending, you know, a thousand, two thousand bucks a year on cigarettes. And here's the state saying every every health care plan has to have a five hundred dollar smoking cessation program built into it at the expense of everyone. And for the benefit of somebody who, if they quit smoking cigarettes, is already going to save a thousand to two thousand dollars a year. Yeah, it's you know, the unfortunate part is, is, is at least in Washington, D.C., there is no common sense that's being used um, in this process. It's just about, you know, how do they get at small business? How do they uh, spend more money? And how do they take over, you know, government takeover of, of health care? Well, the thing is, I know that a lot of times we just sound like we're griping all day long. But the fact is, we've got good suggestions on how to get this done. Congressman, good for you for uh, representing the state of Missouri well. And thanks for taking the time tonight. Thank you very much. You betcha. Congressman Sam Graves back in a moment. Your call's welcome. 866-439-5277. You're listening to The Lars Larson Show.